Morning, welcome back to another episode of Muckle Extremes. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckle. Today, we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Devil May Cry 5. Uh, also, new subs from Jack and Man Animal, two people that have uh, been here on and off since long, long ago. Welcome back, both of you. Thank you. Appreciate you. We are possibly going to finish our first playthrough of DMC5 this morning. We are near the end. Might be uh, starting the DLC after that. We'll see how much time is left. Guild Wars 3 news pog. I read the post about Guild Wars 3. That does not seem like a confirmation of Guild Wars 3. Now, if Guild Wars 3 happens, sweet. I'll try it. Probably make guys. But that post does not look like a, uh, a guarantee. Uh, let's see. Continue. Okay, so it looks like we're playing Dante on this one. All right. Here we go. Fifteenth June, four o four p.m. Hey, Virgil, your portal opening days are over. Give me the Amato. If you want it, then you'll have to take it. But you already knew that. Is the Yamato the sword? I had a feeling you'd say that. How many times have we fought? Hard to say. It's the only memory I have of us since we were kids. <laughs> Time to finish this, Virgil. Once and for all. I won't lose to the likes of you, little brother. Outrun this! Oh gosh, I'm in the wrong stance. Are you attacking the motorcycle? Yes. Missile Genji? Done for ten years. That's right. Come on. Stop. Oh, my 
goodness. Ah, uh, well. I... Just use this. My turn now. Pay to win. God, I can't fire a single locked on shot with a gunslinger against the uh, Virgil. He doesn't let me. I wish I knew how to use the SDT gauge because it's full for like the first time ever, but I have no idea how to use it. That didn't stagger him at all? Oh my god. Is it all tough for to activate it? Oh my god, don't side heal that to me. Wish I was there when it was right there. The dash move. He keeps supporting so much. I'm having to use the dash move to keep up with him, and I don't have time to do anything else. Yeah, I I don't know how to use the SDT. Can I open up the menu to look at my moves? No, it won't let me. Ah. Uh, I hate this. Too bad. This victory is just gonna be me spamming extra lives. Huh. Hold down the DT button. So I just did it. Is that it? Okay. Oh great, awesome. The uh, charge button doesn't actually do an attack now. I, okay, I guess you just spam auto play. Nero is my son. Yeah, dumbass. You can't remember through that thick skull of yours? Well, well. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I guess you were young once, too. As much as I'd love to hear that story. I think it's about time we ended this. Sasuke!
<laughs> I don't know who this is. Man, that fight though. Like, every second Virgil was porting away, and I felt like the only way I could stay on him was by using the dash forward move, which was when he would ride the motorcycle forward. And the end result of that is I feel like I was just using that like 80% of the fight. And I'm not happy about it, but I didn't know what else to do. Are you using a controller? No, mouse and keyboard. Fifteenth June, four twenty-seven p.m. Nero, is that you, Nero? Did something happen? Who is he calling? Kirie. When I was a kid, I, I was alone. You and Cradle were all I knew. Who starts a phone call like this? And now all of a sudden, I find out I have a family. What am I supposed to do with that? You always know which path is right and which is wrong. There's no need to doubt yourself. Thanks. I guess that's all I needed to hear. I have one last thing to take care of. And then I'm coming home. And then he dies. I couldn't protect Kratos. To this day, I hate myself for not having enough strength. I don't know who that this was. This time is Kredo. different. I swear, I'm not letting you die. Arms gonna regrow. Wait, what? What was the? What? So he just wanted it bad enough? That's it. That was the whole trigger for him. Uh, that was the devil trigger for him transforming. He just wanted it bad enough. Sins right here. Listen to me. I told you already. This is not your <laughs> the ethereal you beast listen, slap. Dead weight. <laughs> he called him dead weight. I won't let you kill each other. There are other ways of settling your differences. I'm putting a stop to this sibling rivalry. <laughs> ah, you came all this way just for that. Virgil. V. Whatever you call yourself. Dante's not gonna die here. And neither are you. Do you have a problem with that? <sighs> not gonna die my ass. Oh, that bitch slap nearly killed me. <laughs> If I beat Nero, then by default, I beat you, agreed Dante. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm just gonna sit this one out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do I have to fight him again with a different character with when new moves? this is over, I'll make you submit. Father. has nothing to do with you. Stand oh god, down. I don't remember how to play this guy. Has everything to do with me. Fuck you. 
Dude, I don't remember how to play this guy. There's too many freaking characters. Oh, he parried three charge shots. Oh my god. Press Q near a staggered enemy to perform a buster. God dang it, all the moves I normally used on this guy were with his robot arm, and he doesn't have it anymore! you into the meat grinder with these new things. Interesting. <laughs> oh, brother. You cut off your own son's arm for more power, and you still lost. <laughs> Enough, damn it. The underworld is taking over. We need to do something before it's too late. We need to close that portal. Hey, you lost, so you better do what he says. I can still fight. But if those roots continue to spread through town, it'll just interfere with our business. Now, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard you say. Better hurry up. We still got a score to settle. Evidently. Wait! 
Where are you going? We need to sever the Clyphod roots from the underworld itself. Then we'll seal the portal with the Yamato. Hang on. If you do that, you can't come back. Why do you think I'm going? Somebody's gotta keep an eye on your old man. <laughs> you can't just expect me to stay here while you both go it's in- It's because you're here, we can go. We're trusting you with things on this side. Capiche? Make haste, Dante. Yeah. I know. Hey! Wait! <laughs> they got him back. Take care, Nero. Adios. I won't lose next time. Hold on to that until then. Family Diary? No, it's the book of poetry that V would always carry around before he merged back into Virgil. Uh, uh. Hooey! I'm still in freaking shock. About what? Uh, duh. Your arm? Who the hell grows an arm back? It's just weird. <laughs> It's like a lizard tail or something. Look, I don't know. It just grew. Ugh. I mean, are you kidding me? Lots of weird stuff happened. There were demons and scary plant roots and arms growing back. Lots of stuff. Do you know how much love and care I put in that devil breaker? <sighs> nope. Ha! <sighs> this arm... It's nice. So, uh, how's it feel? How's what feel? Saving the man who killed your own father. Heard Dante killed Virgil once. It doesn't matter. They're both gone now anyway. It's okay to cry. If you want, Nero, over a loss. Not cry. It doesn't make you a cry, baby. <laughs> does make you a little bitch, though. There it wow. Is. <laughs> You think I'm a demon? I didn't cry when my asshole daddy died. But... Yeah, I know, I know. I wouldn't be here without him, that's a biological fact. Right. All I'm saying is, tough guy, it's okay to cry if you want. Devil's I'm not cry. crying. Devil's cry. I'm not gonna Kittens cry. Kittens cry. Will you Meow. shut up? Will you stop? Cry? Look Woof. at you. You're no, but why nobody's you cry crying. On my shoulder. Right? Stop Devil saying cry. cry. On my shoulder. I know you, you wanna. You say cry again. Devil may cry. <laughs> <laughs> you say, hey, idiot. Uh, yeah, I'm coming home. Oh yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but I got a surprise for you. Oh yeah, he's got a huge surprise. You shut up! No, 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 KDA, not you. Nico, you know, and her big mouth. <laughs> what the hell's your problem? Where'd you learn to drive? Mm. Hey, uh, sorry, I gotta call you later. It's time to get back to work. Mm-hmm. Demons in front of the car. Got an arm. I'm good. It's a prototype, and this is the perfect place to test it out. Look, you're gonna use it, and it's, it's a, a work, work of art. art. Gotcha. And it ain't complete without you. Well, how sweet. Feels good. What? He just made his own arm disintegrate to put that back on? 
You'll get fixed as soon as we get back. So, devil's cry, huh? Let's see what that sounds like! There's still more. You killed enough, did I? I see in there. So all we gotta do is cut this thing down. That's right. <laughs> I'm more than capable of handling this on my own. You're gonna need some help. And someone to keep an eye on you. I can't see my UI, I can't see which, like, which weapons I have equipped and stuff.
You did it nice. What did I do? <laughs> yeah, I think you have infinite DT. I hit the devil trigger button once and I didn't see anything happen. But I couldn't see the UI, so I wasn't sure. Now you get extra cutscenes after the credits? Okay. All right, well, yes, I skillfully donutted my way to more cutscenes. Uh, I hope this doesn't, uh, DMCA anything. In DMC credits, there's always enemies. If you kill enough, you get extra stuff. That reminds me of, uh, Nier Automata. That was that weird post-credit game. Or during credit game. Don't come to question all that you've known. Remember you are not alone. Monk, now that you've defeated a DMC game, you can finally be considered a true gamer. Big grats. Isn't that what you guys said when I beat Armored Core? <laughs> what? When do I get to be a real gamer? No mountain too tall to overcome. We will be as one. You mean the muted VOD from yesterday? Yeah. You have to beat Terraria hardcore now? Oh gosh. When you become a console gamer? Honestly, becoming a console gamer sounds easier than uh, beating Terraria Hardcore. Console gaming is just putting on the training wheels. <laughs> Don't come to question all that you've known. Any thoughts on the Gilmore's 3 announcement? Yeah, that doesn't look like an announcement. If Guild Wars 3 is coming out, that's awesome. But I looked at the thing that everybody's linking, that doesn't look like an official announcement. You're gonna try playing with Sweet Baby Pop Virgil. I'm confused on that, Artorius. Is it the same story, but you're just Virgil, so like it doesn't really make any sense? Same missions, no new cutscenes, just a new character. You can also play it in Bloody Palace mode, which you unlock after the story. It's an arena. There's no new missions at all? Ah. Fifty new weapons? <laughs> Technically, the final two missions are different. Instead of Virgil, you fight Dante. As long as he doesn't spam motorcycles, I bet he'd be easy to beat. Virgil's an awesome character to play as. V was my favorite. Pet class. Show me my cutscenes. July 24th, a few weeks later. Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> Who eats yeah. pizza laid out like a model? <laughs> then can I have this office? Because I've been thinking it's almost time for me to settle down somewhere. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I rather quite like it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I hate to spoil your dreams, ladies, but that shit ain't gonna happen. What do you mean, Morrison? See, there's this deed to this place, and I have it. Why do you? Clever little devil came to see me right before his last job. Said something like, "My oh, dearest hey there, friend, beauty. I know you'll keep this safe because them crazy bitches." <laughs> <laughs> Did I say crazy bitches? I'm sorry, I meant ladies. Anyway, the rest of the story is not important. You get the gist. I wonder if he even plans on coming back. Got me. What is important is I have a job for you two. Cause the rent ain't free. Still fighting. Didn't they go down there to fight devils? <sighs> Score for Dante. I'm up one. <laughs> Where did you learn to count? We're even. Oh. You know, I'm starting to think this is never gonna end. Maybe. You got plenty of time. <sighs> hey, Shy, thank you. Wait, what? Why is him saying jackpot a bad thing? New mode has been unlocked. Son of Sparta. New mode unlocked. Bloody Palace. VX color added. Recovery provocation added for Nero. Nero's demonic right arm has been restored, and he can now use both Devil Bringer and Devil Trigger. Dante can equip Rebellion, Devil Sword Sparta, or Devil Sword Dante on the customized screen. In Nico's reports, the enemy reports have expanded to include photos captured the moment of an enemy's defeat. Costume changes are now reflected in the title screen. The last cards you played will be shown. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Tutorial finished. <laughs> it's what they said when they were kids. That little scene of them fighting back to back against the demons for a few seconds reminded me of that scene with um, Geralt and that other witcher fighting against the wild hunt where they were like back to back and like, you know, whirling around each other. Uh, prologue, Son of Sparta. Is that like New Game Plus? Can I hit continue and then do the uh, the other guy? Oh, that's not gonna work. That's just gonna play it like normally. Now you could try to be the tutorial boss. I mean, I don't know how to play Virgil yet. How do I... If I hit continue, it's just gonna go back to Son of Sparta. How do I do new game with the DLC? Main menu? I'm at the main menu.
Muck your char is the ugliest char I've ever seen, and I've seen char charbro. The char from that thumbnail? I just googled GW2 char. That was one of the first ones that came up. Is this when he takes the guy's arm? Just a little longer. Is this the same cutscene? You, uh, you need something? Oh no, it's from a different point of view. It is, is a little it? different. You hungry? <laughs> well, you're in luck, pal, because food's ready. Kitty always makes too much. Hope you like loud talkers, too, because you got a pair of those upstairs. You see something you like. You a demon. Nero, the food's getting cold! Kitty, get back inside now! <laughs> Taking this back. I'm running out of time. Auto doesn't even unsheath the sword. After jumping, press space near a wall to jump off again. Okay. When a barrier blocks out your path, it means a battle. Yep, 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 yep. Don't move. Wow, that's still like no damage. Change weapons? Whoa, what? What are my options here? Lock on, yep. Shift plus control? Yeah, that's so, so easy. Wow, that does no damage. Did they like detonate or something? It looks like they stick in the guy.
Shift back, left click. There needs to be a freaking actual tutorial. Because this one doesn't cut it. Artorias with a wall of text in chat. I can't read any of that right now. in the tutorial. Oh. Uh. Absurd. Is this that? Alright, a lot of his combos are timing and spamming base, so when you get the chance, 100% try them. Summon swords are for priming and continuing combos. I don't know what summon swords you're talking about. Yes, they detonate. Oh, the throwing things. Depending on the combo, they can explode or slow down enemies. Um, also, the big blue bar you see near his health is concentration. If you play him lore-wise, concentrated, don't miss combos, the bar fills, and you can do cooler moves and do damage. Well, once again, it's thrown me into a thing. I have three weapons. I don't know how to use any of them. All I know Weak. is that move. That's it. You just got some sword, the throwing thing. Yeah, look. And they don't even do damage. I mean, there's also this thing as possibly a summon sword, too. Oh, this one has a dash. Okay, so this one has a dash strike, but the other one doesn't have a dash strike. This one's got a downward thing.
Dude, he does like no damage. <laughs> oh my god, I I do not like this guy. In terms of like playing him first experience, worst one. Like these the starter moves for the weapon, this special devil trigger power, like all of it feels awful. Like look at that, I just did like four cartwheel combo things on this thing, barely hurt it. Look, look, look at this. I don't think this does damage. I think this is just a placebo. This is just a placebo attack. This doesn't actually do anything. <sighs> Show me about it. Yeah. How could I lose? Man, the thought of going back through the whole game as this guy is pretty daunting. Cause, uh... He's not fun. Alright, what is Bloody Palace? Selecting this deletes all save data? What? Sure, I don't care. No idea what's going on. Let's just try it. In Bloody Palace mode, you battle against waves of deadly foes, clearing as many stages as you can before time runs out. The more stylish the combat, the more you extend the time limit. They do, but they're dependent upon- oh, hang on. Hey look guys, it's a character that does damage. <laughs> I'm sure there's like some- Pro Virgil players in the chat that are just like screaming right now. It's just like, dude.
Stop insulting my baby, I was trying to teach it. Look, I know you think he's hot. Alright, just please recognize, as a new player, that was the most awful moveset, okay? You had the sheath sword that did not have a dash engage. You had the energy sword that did have a dash engage, but it uh, it didn't have like the, the other moves, at least yet, at level 1. You had a ranged attack that did zero damage, and then a punch that didn't have a dash engage. You probably unlock that later. And then we had a mob that had like 10 billion health. Honestly, it might have just had five health because it just felt like I wasn't doing anything. That cannot reach this thing. I have to keep going. He's between narrow and Dante to build to learn. Dante's gun did damage. Okay. <laughs> Dante's gun at least did damage. I hate that there's a loading screen between every one of these waves. Just keep sending crap out. You don't need to do a loading screen. Which gear are you talking about? Ah, uh, Virgil. I just tried Virgil. forgot about the teleport. Uh, yeah, I don't know how... I mean, I was only on the tutorial level, but it just really threw me into the meat grinder. So like, I see some folks saying that I had the difficulty higher than normal for that one. Maybe. I don't know. That might have been part of it. But I felt like that, what, that one bug, it was like the fifth bug in the tutorial, I couldn't damage it. That execute requires to restart, but it's way too much time. Enjoy the taste of this underworld. Oh man, that animation is too long. Dude, why does he have such a long kill animation for the little bugs?
I hate that while to use the best moves on this guy, I have to be holding the forward key. So I have to constantly be going toward the enemy. So if I'm already like near the enemy, I have to like stay close to them and circle them to keep the, um, the move going. Red orb bonus. Clear stages in the Bloody Palace to receive bonus red orbs. The more time remaining on the timer, the more orbs you can obtain. Take down enemies with style rack of additional time. execute that doesn't require three stabs. Dante's more complex, but it feels like there's not as much payoff once you get to the high levels. Um... Dante at least has gone to damage at the beginning. The fact that he had a damaging ranged attack, and the other guy didn't want to This guy's a little more. I'm not sure. If I had turned the difficulty up, it wasn't intentional. But even then, the fact that I like I couldn't get past like the fifth bug, that was something. And it just throws you into the game with like you know three weapons that you don't know how to use yet. And the tutorial is just like, here's how to do an upstrike. available but this guy's not going to be <sighs> Does this just go forever? Enjoy the taste of this. Those things. 
Oh, he's dead. It took a long time. If you want Easter egg, press taunt with V when you're at S rank. It should be key R on PC. It doesn't do anything you're now. You're itching to play. I can tell. Oh, there it goes. Wow, this stuns you for a long time. Now, the on the last pointer. Hang on. Let me tab out and back down. Yeah, um... Now I've got my mouse on the screen. It won't go away. Your taunt broke my game. Seems to be working it over East at the moment. On this character, I, I, I'm better. I mean, obviously, I have more practice on literally everyone except Virgil. Taunt with S rank, he says you first. V is the easiest to get eyes at. Uh, I feel like I'm best at V. So oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, wait. Tried to do a taunt, I'm kinda glad it didn't work, because uh he was gonna step on me there. Oh, I thought he was shooting a laser, that was gonna directional. Scorch them to see the world. Enjoy the taste of this. Also, the camera angles. Jesus Christ, the camera angles in this game sometimes. It's just like, here's a wall, good luck. I actually didn't think that was gonna hit me. It looked like it was way up in the air above me.
I killed him again. Oh, I can't dodge without the bird. I just tried to dodge. Enjoy. I forgot. This where am I right now? Wait, what? <laughs> what in the kaiju? <laughs> to the underworld. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. And that was 20 out of 100. You can pause your progress in Bloody Palace so no enemies are around. Select suspend from the pause menu. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm bored. Okay. Ah, uh, cool. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Let's talk about it. Um, first of all, this scene never happened. There was never the two of them in the van. So, you know, my immersion's ruined. Uh, Devil May Cry 5. This is my first Devil May Cry game. It was fun. It was fun. I would say, like, if I'm, like, separating games by category, there's this weird category of, like, crazy music and ridiculousness and action and testosterone, and it's just... Metal Gear Rising Revengeance and Devil May Cry 5. That's all that's in that category among all the games I play. I will say, um, terrible camera angles. There was constantly times where I couldn't even see my character on the screen because it would just like swing off somewhere. Or I would fail a jumping puzzle because it was just like the camera would point straight down and I had no control over it. I'd be fighting that all the time. Dodging was three inputs. Uh, shift A space or Shift D space. Uh, that was awful. It should have just been one input. It should have just been one key. Um, whether you use controller, or mouse, and keyboard, it was three buttons, which was pretty trash. So, th th that was cumbersome. Um, I like, I, it, I love, you know, uh, lots of, uh, customization, lots of selection, but they drown you in weapons. They drown you eyes. Like, even level one Virgil, they were like, here's three weapons with full kits, and you don't get a tutorial on how to use them before, you know, here's the first guy. Um, so that was, that was a lot. That was very challenging. Um, uh, like, Virgil was frustrating to the point where I'm just like, no, I'm not doing the DLC. Like, I, I saw enough of Virgil to know that I, I didn't need any more of that. Um, what else? Favorite character? V, probably. You know, I love the summoner dude. I'd say second to that was probably Nero. I I liked the um, the rocket fist that you could fire around the room, and it would just, like, constantly batter foes, and it would kind of, like, stagger them so that you could, like, land other attacks. That was pretty cool. Uh, after that was probably the ridiculousness that was Dante with the motorcycles. Although it felt kind of bad, because, like, when I was fighting Virgil, he was so mobile, all I could do was spam the motorcycle dash attack. And it worked, but then the whole fight was basically spamming one button. Um, and then Virgil, last place. Uh, what else? The style system. I understand now that the style system is an intricate part of the game. I didn't like it. I, I, I didn't like it. Like, you know, the, the fact that uh, you might have a strategy that works, but you need to do other stuff just for the sake of getting the style points to go up felt silly. Uh, I guess it's just not I've never played a game like this where you need to just, like, do extra crap for the sake of doing the extra crap. It's like, oh, wait, are you killing things with that weapon? No, you need to juggle three weapons just to make the, the fancy points go up. Uh, that, that felt really silly. Um, so, yeah, honestly, I don't really want to play another game with a style system, but if it had the fun cutscenes and stuff like this one, I would do it. I, I would, I would. But the style system definitely, to me, feels like a negative thing, and I'm pushing past that. Um, uh, the extra crap is the point of the entire series. You're convincing me to not play the others. Uh, in general, I find that these games are so much better with controller. I have a lifetime of experience on mouse and keyboard, 
and like five minutes of experience on controller. Like just holding a controller hurts my hand after like 30 minutes. I, I'm very bad at it. I will say, I asked, I was like, guys, if I use controller, is dodge one button? And they're like, no, it's still three inputs. And I was like, okay, so it's still trash. So no, I was thinking about it. I really was thinking about it. But the fact that like dodging is still a three button click, that, then I was like, never mind. Uh, that, forget that. Um, can you check out the secret Virgil cutscenes on YouTube or something? Uh, let me see. Let me close this because of the sound. Okay. One second. Let me see if I can... Hi! Jip says hi. Uh, DMC5 Virgil cutscenes. Would you play FF16 if it comes to PC? I... Oh God, which one is that? Is that one of, is that the, uh, one of the MMOs or is that one of the single player stories? Devil May Cry all Virgil cutscenes. Uh, okay, let's do Virgil DLC cutscenes. Okay, let's see. Hang on a sec. Okay, we saw this one. We saw this one. We saw this one. Nero! It's my son! Yeah, dumbass! You can't remember through that thick skull of yours? Well, well. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I guess you were young once, too. As much as I'd love to hear that story, I think it's about time we... Ended this. Next time. Oh no, there it goes. Hold on to that until then. Wow, this thing got real big. You trying to compensate for something? Yes. Your incompetence. <laughs> By awesome. the way. How'd it feel catching up with your kid? There's no need for us to catch up. Well, with an attitude like that, you're never gonna meet your grandkids. That's enough. I don't want to hear it. Now, don't get in my way. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Why are you sprinting? It's still like 300 feet away. Us brothers join to face the tree, but time rekindles rivalry. Learn to count. We're even. Come on. In the other cutscene, the uh, monsters attacked them while they were in the middle of fighting. Let's do it. Wait, wait. 
got like a blunder around right now. The demon thing has a very long range of that. He's able to like engage on stuff really hard. Really Dare say it. <sighs> Why you gotta leave me hanging? We used to love saying that. I have no recollection. <laughs> well, let me jog your memory. A little Virgil. <laughs> Crying in the corner. Because mommy got mad. <laughs> I seem to recall you crying every time Father raised his voice. <laughs> How would they feel if they saw us now? <laughs> what does it matter? We're still here, aren't we? Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> this poor dude. They can't even interrupt the conversation. Okay. Uh, just because it, cause it's a cool tidbit, Virgil has a move where he splits himself and turns into V and has all his monsters fight for like five seconds. He literally commits Samu Seppuku to get V. And then what? He goes back to normal a minute later. But V was the human side. So if he splits, that does the demon, uh, was it, Urizen also come out? Uh, hit with ranged attack, then you can go straight to them. Well, the tutorial didn't make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> um, like if he splits into V, I, w I wonder if like he splits into V and Urizen. When he splits into V, he also gains health depending on how much concentration gauge you have, which I still don't understand the concentration. Dude, I, I never understood the... Um, I barely understood Devil Trigger. I knew if like on Narrow, if I used Devil Trigger, the next sword dash had fire on it. Or if I did the rev thing. Uh, then there was, what was it? If I use Devil Trigger on Dante, then the next time I hit him with a motorcycle, it would heal me for a bit. And if the Super Devil Trigger charged up, I had no idea what that did. I activ I activated it, uh, once it went into the big, I guess you turn into the big demon thing. But then its moveset was radically different. Because the one time I turned into the big demon, I tried to do a charging attack, and all it does is like, charge forward but it doesn't attack so it took the attack away from the charge attack when you turn into the super demon thing so then i just like punched i just like spam left click urzen doesn't appear i don't know why oh my gosh immersion ruined immersion ruined uh it was a pretty cool game it was fun the cutscenes were great i was laughing a lot again i was reminded of metal gear uh rising revengeance um hmm Someone else was uh, was saying, Mucky, if, you, if you're laughing at this, you'd probably enjoy Bayonetta. And then someone else said Bayonetta gets 20 weapons. And I, I went from, like, kind of interested in playing that to, like, oh, God, maybe I shouldn't. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. It was a pretty neat game. It was a fun playthrough. It was pretty short, nine and a half hours. Um, didn't like Virgil enough to do another playthrough just for the sake of playing Virgil. But it was enjoyable. Thank you again to Artorias, who gifted the game. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. All right, and that is the end of DMC5. Give me just a second to turn my fan on. I will be right back. Okay. Uh, Bayonetta doesn't change characters, so you can specialize. Uh, yeah, that was another thing. Like, I was changing characters in this so much. Yo, my stream deck is not working. Hang on, I'm going to restart my stream deck. Let me see what's going on here. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Close that. Yeah. 
Helldivers 2 now, or what for the remaining stream? Helldivers 2 is great if I can find people to play with. Uh, if I can't, then I have to pug, and that's been a horrible experience so far. So if there's people here who want to do Helldivers 2, I could do that. Uh, otherwise, I can jump into something else. All right, let me see. Nope, that is still not working. Why is that not working? Do I need to run an update on it? Why is this not behaving? Hang on. Uh, plugins. Check for update for Twitch Studio. You've signed out of Marketplace. What? What are you talking about? Check for updates. You are up to date. Dude, I don't know what my stream deck is doing. It The Twitch buttons aren't working. And when I say check this, it says you're not signing a marketplace. Ah, uh, something else to troubleshoot later. It's time for the Guild Wars 3 discussion for the 300th time. If they're making a Guild Wars 3, that's awesome. I would play it. However, I have looked at the um, thing that everybody is linking saying Guild Wars 3 confirmed. That doesn't look like confirmation. Nowhere in that does it could say, oh, guaranteed Guild Wars 3 confirmed. In fact, it even says there might be massive translation errors. So, yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. But so far, that doesn't look like it. Uh, I learn how to do Helldivers. I can only hop on after five, which is when you start your afternoon stream for me. Well, uh, Muck and Helldivers with the likes of pirate software would be awesome. That would be fun. That would be fun. Okay, what is going on here? One sec. I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, what do you mean marketplace? Is that this thing? Sign in. Sign in with Twitch. Okay. Am I signed in now? Does this work now? Check for updates. It appears you've logged out. Dude, I just signed in. Control center? Ah, uh, Man. Okay. One sec. Let me see what's going on here. All right. Elgato stream deck signed out of marketplace. Try signing in with a different account. This is really weird. Sign in. Yeah. Okay. Did that open it twice? No, there we go. Okay. And back to Twitch. Twitch Studio is up to date. The hell it is. It's not working. All right. I might have to just restart everything later on. I don't know what's going on. This thing is acting up. Can I change scenes? Uh, chip test. Okay, that's working. There's a bunch of buttons over here that are just not functioning right now. You type really fast. Uh, hold on. Where's type racer? I haven't checked in a while. Let me see. Enter a typing race. Looking for competitors. Okay, here we go. Uh, from compositional considerations, the tomato layer would be expected to have a relatively high heat capacity and low conductance. It thus serves as a buffer between the mozzarella and the baked dough. 111 words per minute. Uh, I've gotten worse. I I remember in middle school at one point, I I clocked in at like 154. But I haven't done typing tests in like years. <laughs> what is Hato Full Boyfriend? It was a game we played on Valentine's where you date pigeons. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty rough. And apparently I chose by accident the shortest possible romance and the game ended really, really fast. 111 word PM is great. Mm. It was fun, but I never gave any points to Dante's stupid Michael Jackson hat attacks. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, I tried the hat one time, and I realized it basically fired your money, and I didn't have all the upgrades yet, so I stopped. My mother types the one finger looking at the keyboard the whole time. That's fine. I'm sure she's very good with an abacus. 
I use a computer every day and only type like 80 or something. Lol. Uh, let's see. Hell, I do not feel like doing Helldivers 2 with pugs. I feel like we're kind of at a stopping point for Timberborn. I feel like for tomorrow, I might either install Evil Genius 2, which, uh, by the way, this is like 95% off right now. This is a game I just, I had my eye on. It was on my wish list, and it's two bucks right now. So I just picked this up on sale, and I also have Horizon Forbidden West, so I might start one of those two tomorrow. Um, have you played Evil Genius 1? No, but I've played Dungeons, and it's very similar to Dungeons. Yes, yes. Pretty good, but let's see your T9 typing speed. I don't, I don't know what that is. The layer building game, Pacific Drive. Uh, Pacific Drive was great, Jack. I they, they actually sent me a gift box. I got like a fancy uh, garage worker shirt and stuff like that. Have you played Horizon Zero Dawn? Yes, the full playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn is on my second YouTube channel. There's a link to that in the chat. Um, the firing your money thing was what put me off the most with the hat. Yeah, same, 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 same. Uh, at this point, hmm, got some extra time. I guess I can practice more for the tournament? Let me change category, and I'll work on that, and then we'll install one of these other games uh, for starting tomorrow morning. Let me see. Uh, we'll turn drops onto this, too. Drops, and uh, 50k tourney practice. We'll do this. And let me change the uh, the other thing. Let's see, DMC5 done. Uh, 50k tourney practice. And done. Okay. Now let's see, where is Bnet? I'll take your fire. What? Oh my god, now Battle.net has to restart. Oh, it's always something. It's always something. DRG Survivor. DRG Survivor's fun. I haven't played it in a bit, though. Been too distracted with other things. Uh, for those who haven't been here in the last few days, just catching you up, this weekend on Saturday, uh, there are 60 content creators that were invited to participate in a Plunder Storm, which is Blizzard's new uh, game mode, a tournament. And there's a $50,000 prize pool. And I've been practicing like crazy this last week to try to get as good as I possibly can. As uh, I might lose, but I, I, if I lose, I'm gonna know that I did everything I could to prepare for it. So I have got uh, five more hours of practice tonight with my partner for the tournament, because it's uh, duos, and five hours of practice with him tomorrow night. And then on Saturday is the day of the tourney. That is sir is pretty tall, yeah. Hello, Monkey Chat. Hi, Goddess. How you doing? Play the Google Dinosaur game? Mm -hmm. well, well, watch this. Here to have some fun. There we go. All right. Haven't done solos in a little bit. I've been doing so many duos with Fairlight. Let's see what we can do. I'm just glad he's not a hideous gnome anymore. So you want me to go back to gnome? I'm also playing DRG Survivors, it just mirrors does the driller feel stronger than the rest. Uh, agreed. Driller is too good. My favorite two are the driller and the engineer in that. Why you were playing a wild thing? That is why. Yeah, big turning. the repel from the other guy. Ah. Oh. There we go. Bug playing pet classes even in bullet hell games. Driller's not a pet class. A 
Okay, two people going over there. All right, I'm gonna try a strat. So there's two people going for the cove. I'm gonna try to take one of their mobs, just a mess of them. And then I will leave the cove, which is going to give them a lot of walking time after, with nothing to do. The flamethrower turret. Oh, I forgot about the flamethrower turret, you're right. But he doesn't start with that. He starts with the, the butt gun. All right, so now there's two groups in the cove and they're probably gonna fight each other and whoever wins when they come out, they're gonna have this like long empty road. All right, sometimes there's a chest over there to the left. There is not this time, all right. Bulwark. There's still gonna be people over there. A boosh. Uh, what's going on over here? Toxic smackerel, mana, earthbreaker. Let's drop that and get the smackerel. Oil gun. This and this. You see they're working on Guild Wars 3. I saw a post that does not confirm Guild Wars 3 that everyone is linking. Yes. Veliander, thank you for the tier 1 sub. Welcome. It'll be cool if it happens. But that post to me does not have confirmation of that. Don't get caught dragging your feet. Uh, probably dead here. Messed up. Ah, good fight. Ah, she caught me in a bear trap, and even though I blocked all the damage, I was immobilized, and I couldn't gain any distance during the bulwark. Didn't they say they'd rather continue the game for a few more years uh, through story content than Guild Wars 3, like back in Ice Brood? They have said a lot of things over the last... Look, I, I love Guild Wars 2. I love making content for that game. I love that game. They have said a lot of things that they have gone back on. Um, so I I do not know. I do not know. Hey everyone, the new Hoya, uh, 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 Meg is here. MMOs take far more of your time than a regular game. True, big true. Cause like, uh, Devil May Cry. I just beat Devil May Cry 5, took me like 10 hours. I mean, that's like the tutorial of an MMO. Fish. And 
you like, like 8k hours ago or two? Yeah. If it wasn't for the community around me, though, I wouldn't have played, like, I wouldn't have played it this long as just a uh, player. But as a player plus content creator, it's kept me involved for that long. Like, how do you feel about Mesmer? I started Mesmer yesterday. I know you played PvP with it in the past as a Mirage, I believe. Yep. How do I feel about it? It's fine. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm sure you've seen many of my recent videos. It's very good as a, uh, support right now. Like, uh, support Chrono is really, really solid. Nope, someone's going that way, changing direction. Oh no. Dang it. Dude. Oh my god, stop aggroing me. Big yikes. shield. Okay, so she's got Snowdrift into Star Bomb, which is a decent combo. There's some fighting over there. 180 Caltrop. this. Kill him with that skill. Um, let's drop that. Come on, drop it. Take the Quaking. Take the Fade. Drop the Holy Shield, take the Mana Bullets. Should I take the Flame Whirl? I'll try not taking the Flame Whirl. What do we got there? Snowdrift. Flame World is best for all. It is pretty good. I was just... Right now, uh, both my attacks are ranged. So I was trying to decide, do I want to have one of them become short range? Storm Archon. 
Level six. There's another guy there. This guy took what I wanted. Go away, you side character. You're not involved in this. Ah, I dropped the wrong move. I didn't want the axe. Drop it. Drop the axe. There we go. Okay. Take the barrel. Top the health off. And Viz, because that guy tried to get me. Yeah, two people jump me. Yeah, dude, look at them ignoring each other to get the loot. Ah, this is a free-for-all. This is a free-for-all. Got quite a few kills there, but... Mm. Am I going full villain arc over a skill that was taken from him? Yeah, I mean, part of it was the, uh, the fact that... I, I dropped it on accident. I was trying to pick up at something else. Accidentally, it auto-targeted the axe because it gets the nearest thing in front of you. Got the axe, dropped the thing that was selected, which was the Archon. I didn't want to drop the Archon, and the other guy took it. And in the end, I kind of died because I had Archon. Because whenever you're firing Archon, it slows you down. You kind of needed the axe of the close range fight. Well, I wasn't anticipating two people sitting on me in the very near future. It just kind of happened.
Even your comment, you're a side character. Oh, that guy? Yeah, he didn't know what he was getting into. All right, I'm looking at that area up there. Time to earn your keep, you bill traps. I've got a rhyme arrow to start. Bush. Some gold. Someone landed on that guy over there. Alright, we're going this way. Uh, box. We have Max Rhyme. Oh my gosh, this is going to be one of those scummy rounds. Level 2 Max Rhyme. Quaking Leap, nice. No drifts. Too far away. That level up sound is still rather satisfying. What sound? Oh, the level up sound. Okay, I just I just processed it. Uh Star Bomb, let's get fish. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna keep the Star Bomb. Because I've got the 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 snowdrift. So snow and then bomb. Oh, he's gonna interrupt it. I'll pursue. Hey Muck, keep growing the beard until God of War Ragnarok comes out on PC, then shave your head, paint your face red and cosplay Muck Luck Bobble. There we go. Alright, got that kill. Alright, what's left? Smack roll, bottle time, I left those. <laughs> All right, there's an elite over there. All right, there is someone down there. My bomb. Okay, combo hits. Rhyme hit the wrong targets. Got him. Hey, Max Starbomb. Thank you, buddy. I'll appreciate the barrel, too. Yeah, it's like I just uh, got this guy Uber Eats to bring me some stuff. Snowdrift? Oh, my God. I have never done this build, but um, it's working all right. Close range hide in the bush didn't well. Funny enough, it actually protected him from Rhyme Arrow. Rhyme Arrow requires a target, and he was untargetable when he turned into the bush.
Hmm. Do I chase? He's going right into another player. Definitely did a lot of area damage there, but... I'm gonna get interrupted. Nice. You walked right into it. All right, there's another guy on me right now. He went in Viz right there. 15 seconds on heal. Muck, you and Minimuck wa Mini watched JoJo? Uh, I watched JoJo. I don't know that he watched JoJo. Waiting on heal. There is so much non-stop fighting here. Oh my gosh. They've all got Windstorm. Bag for the kill. Oh, you're level five. My bomb. My kill. Okay, he's slicing winds out of the bomb. Team players remaining. Dude, this is crazy how much action there is here with how many players are left and how much space is left. Both have wins. Ah, interrupted the bomb.
zoning star bomb. Nine players left. Really? He didn't get chilled from that? That first pulse of cold should have chilled him. I don't know why it didn't. Haha, <laughs> the other guy stunned him. We need a chance to heal. <sighs> Interrupted his heal immediately. Uh, he's got a full Fey form. Let's do that. I might miss that leap. But we'll see. Four players remain. Uh, that sucked. That was really bad by me. Uh, I tried to pick up that fade to shadow, but I couldn't do it in time. Three players remain. Yeah, I regret getting the Fey form right now. Just for this. I could have just stayed out of that and gotten a guaranteed second, but I was trying to chip them both down to go for the first place. Yeah, with that build, um, either fade, the leap or fade to shadow would have been better. Because being able to just pop on top of them and do snow drift into star bomb was great. But fey form, you run in and they see you. Like, yeah, it gets you out of CC, but if you're using it as a gap closer, they see you coming. Third place, though. Not bad. Not bad. Ugh. Yarg, welcome. No levels on leap. Yeah, I never, I never found a leap other than the first one. The snowdrift star bomb thing was pretty good. Oh look, <laughs> I rank four leap. Hey Mug, it work right now. Don't have any of the corrected statement or rescue where three guilds three still under construction. The start of development has not been finalized. Um I saw the original post that's been spreading around, which did not at all look like confirmation. 
So when I see something more official, maybe I'll believe it. But if it is a thing, great. Like, how's the WoW Battle Royale? Just got third place in the last one. I'm just practicing. Trying to get as much skill as I can before the $50,000 tourney this weekend. All right. I see three going to the farm. I see one guy going there. All right. I'm going to get this guy, and then I'll go south to the bear. Star bomb. I don't really like that for a start. Terrible for dueling. Oh, someone landed at the bear. That's a bummer. All right. Got a motorcycle. Let's use this. See what we can find. Okay, they've already got that. Did someone land down there? Yes. Oh my god, dude, I'm completely surrounded by people. Snowdrift Starbomb. Oh my god, the game wants me to try again. So it's the same build! Oh my god, it's the same build! We just need a movement skill. All right, level five. That's not bad considering how far we had to travel. The early bike helped uh, mitigate that. XP chest. Here, my bomb hit on him. He axed, he has axe trap fish, but he missed. Oh my gosh. Take his movement skill. Nope, I'm gonna get interrupted by the Earthbreaker. Second person from behind. Uh, so Earthbreaker, they changed it in the uh, recent, uh, the most recent update. Uh, uh, update yesterday, in fact. Earthbreaker, while you're channeling it, you're immune to CC. So if you pull someone in and they start Earthbreakering you, uh, you cannot stop it. You you can get out of range of it if you've got a movement skill to just you know teleport out of it, but you can't stop it. So I'm actually wondering if like chill into Earthbreaker would be better than chill into Star Bomb. I don't know. Thoughts on the Guild Wars 3 stuff? Uh, it's unconfirmed. If it is confirmed, then yay. Yeah, we had a really good build there for fighting people our level, but the problem was like the first guy we ran into had two movement skills and we had none.
Do I need to pay for a sub to play Battle Royale? Yes. Uh, currently, it's a game mode in World of Warcraft. Like, from the character selection screen, you select Thunderstorm. So that means that you, you don't need any expansions. But you do need an active sub at the moment. And I kind of hope they change that. I think it would do much better if it was a separate launcher on the... Um, the Battle.net launcher, like a, a separate uh, program. And then they just like made it free and then just have like some outfits for microtransactions uh, for just like cosmetic stuff. I think they would get a lot more people playing it. All right, we're at South Central. All right, I'm watching these birds in front of me. He's probably going A-bomb. He's probably going bear. He's going other bear, he's going quarry. That did not go well. That was a terrible, terrible dive. Uh, man, we might we might lose this really early. That one's already dead. I gotta kill this guy and hope I get a skill to fight that other dude. There was uh, so many people that just... Oh, Fire World, nice. So many people just happened to land in front of me there. I got cut off from a lot of possibilities. Level two Fire World. And then we barrel and pick up the other barrel. And... Dang it, he got the snow drift. And he has Rhyme. And he has Chain. And he has Archon. He has a full build. He has four skills. Well, this is game. This is one of those just bad luck. And he's, and he's on Australian internet. Freaking teleporting all over the place. Oh my god. Oh, all right, that last one was his most powerful ability. The Aussie internet. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was just unfortunate. I was like, all right, I'm gonna land in that area. And then it was just like person, 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 person. And I was like, okay, I've got to go all the way to, to uh, Stromgard and I don't have enough uh, velocity left to land there. And then there was a guy there that was level three with four skills in bad internet. Guild Wars 3 will be a card game. Oh boy. I feel like if they made this game free, then all the hackers would come out of the woodworks and actually ruin the game. Um, does normal WoW have a problem with hackers? Because this runs on, like, the WoW engine. Alright, let's see. Bottom right corner is pretty populated. This is not good. They're everywhere. Alright, let's look at central. Archon. Yay, my least favorite ability. Does supply chest always have an item? I guess it does. I never noticed that. So I should probably be focusing on those less. Bear traps! Oh my god. Parrot. Level three. Has the farm been cleared? No, it has not. We have got a terrible build. Let's go. I use the term build very loosely. Yeah. 
I picked up Fade and he took my Fae. I don't know if I want to fight that guy or not. I did get the fish. Is he still coming for me? You quite literally asked for that. Oh no, it's another Aussie. I don't know if I could have done anything to beat that guy. He had Quaking Leap, I had Fade to Shadow, so I could port and then he would crush down on top of me. However, he was also ported when we were nearby, he was like blipping around. Guild Wars 3 should be Tower Defense where you defend a giant statue of Queen Jenna by fighting at her stone feet. And there'd be lots of Logans with like drooling mouths that are uh, coming down the lane, those would be the creeps. Write that down. Mocker, <laughs> unrelated, wow. Should I unlock the skimmer underwater mastery before continuing to EOD? The end of dragon? Uh, you're not going to need it there much. You could, you could take your time on that. see anyone going cove yet. Might be able to get some alone time. Level 2. That's a supply chest. We want the magical chest. What time is the tourney? Uh, I think it's either noon or 1 eastern time. Uh, if you do exclamation plunderstorm, the uh, thing will come up and it'll it'll tell you. Slicing Wind. Uh, do I want Slicing Wind instead of Fire Whirl? I think I'll take it.
Just because it's a movement skill, also. What? What are you doing in my cove? No, we just got a max ranked fish. How did that not stun him? What in the hell? Why didn't Slicing Wind go forward just now? Oh my god. Okay. This is gonna be a weird one. This is gonna be a weird one shot. We got slicing chainfish. Yes, yeah, so this guy started here and then went down into the cove. Which was not a good long-term strat for him. Even even if I hadn't killed him, he would have had to walk all the way back out of this barren area. Awesome kickback, went one foot. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Tempting. But I'll keep the slicing wind mainly for the movement for when it does work. See an elite and strong. There might be someone fighting it now. No. Okay, so I'm hearing combat on the other side of that wall. Bear traps. No, thank you. Are you winning? Yes, every game. Chain, pull, fish. There's another person here. This one's dead. Hi ho muck, hi ho chat. Hello, hello. Kill these chickens. All right, that's two kills. It's got a quaking leap. I'll take that. Do we go all in on fish this game, chat? I could literally just be like fish and fishy support. make you want to start WoW again? Um, not really. Like, I actually logged into one of my old characters briefly just to look at it since I had my account activated again anyway, and it was very overwhelming. Uh, like, I used add-ons in the past, just like most WoW players, so my UI was completely different. Things were not where I was used to them being. Um, the builds were different. I would have to, like, relearn all the talent trees and how they work and stuff like that, and it was just like, ah, this is too much. Like, WoW is a cool game, and it's got thousands of hours of gameplay to run around and explore if you've never played it, but uh, I experienced, you know, 10 years of it, so I'm not really feeling the itch to go back to it, like in raiding and stuff at the time, at this time. Lightning Bulwark. Barrel Roll. Seven. 
My chain's apparently better. I think that's kind of funny that we both chained each other and then we both ran opposite directions and we didn't both get pulled. I kind of thought we were going to, like, fl you know, flip-flop. But that's not what happened. And then I got lucky. His chain messed up and he missed the fish. There's a quaking leap there. I want it. I don't have a target. All right, if it wasn't for the barrel, I would have caught him. Guy has level disadvantage. Max level quaking leap. Thank you. Two people there. Go for the one with more health. Uh, I was going to jump in, but the traps... My skill set is maxed, except Slicing Wind is still level 1, which means it still has the long cooldown. Your 1v1 game is getting good. Thank you. There is some RNG. You know, it depends on what skills you pick up. Chains. I see someone over there. Rhyme Arrow. You guys see that guy just like port forward, port back? That was weird. I, I think he went invis and got chained, and from my perspective, it just looked like port port. Solo training? Yeah, my duo partner um, will be on later tonight. Um, I was playing Devil May Cry 5 this morning, but I beat it. It's done. So with my extra time this morning, I am doing solo training. And then tonight and tomorrow night, I'll be doing duo training with uh, Fairlight, my partner for the tournament. And then Saturday, hopefully we win the whole thing. Is FPS kind of low or is it just me? Um, how do I check my FPS in WoW? I would, ch I would pull it up to show you. I don't know how to check it in well. I opened up the menu, but it's not there. I'm out of died from poison. That was really close. That was a bad start. 
So my whole thing with this build is pull them in when they don't want to be pulled, and he wanted to run at me, so I couldn't get a pull. And so, yeah, I mean, that's honestly the counter to this. Uh, the counter to chain is just charge the guy. <laughs> but you had got to have a build where you're okay with charging the guy, and he was okay with that. Level 10, nice. Did that connect? I didn't see if that connected. What? So if Starbomb hits you, it should pull you in. I took the hit and didn't get pulled. It was like the game couldn't decide if it wanted to hit me or not. That's why I, I yelled what, is it was confusing as to why that happened the way it happened. There's one over there. All right, back to full health. Now what I see here, enjoying Plunderstorm? I am. The main reason I'm playing it, though, is the tournament. $50,000 tournament this Saturday that I'm in. And I'm trying to get as good as possible at this. Alright, so there's a dude there. Alright, so there's a level 6 there and a level 8 over there. I have the level advantage of everyone here. I hear them fighting. I'm level 10. I can't get any XP or anything by like killing one of them before killing the other. So if I can let them fight each other for a bit, I'll do it. Oh, there's only two of us left. It's just me and him. How did that not hit? We had level one slicely win. It was that whole match. Fishy win. We beat everyone with a fish. GG. All right. I'll put that on my counter. The fish, yes. The fish. Ugh. I just say my plunger store makes for some awesome content. I'm glad you enjoy it. I am glad you enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Got time for a few more. What do you spend gold on? The plunder in the game is twofold. One, it's your... Um, your XP in the game, it can get you, like, picking up the gold piles gives you some XP. And two, there's this, um, reputation bar thing here. As you play the game and you get plunder, this fills up and it gives you unlock stuff. Uh, such as, you know, skins you can use in the, in the game mode, skins in normal WoW. Such as, I got a parrot mount here. Um, a title, stuff like that. Plunderlord. Uh, change my gun appearance. The hand cannon. Oh, look at that. I just noticed the head of the staff is a steering wheel for a ship. <laughs> I didn't realize that. 
Uh, being safe for draft, please make sure I always check the size of your seat edge. All this uh, sweat some giving chairs makes me It's a wear and tear. <laughs> Okay, so we're facing South Central. I'm looking at the birds. I have mixed feelings about this. Starting with Star Bomb and Bear Traps. Certainly not my go to. There's a player there. Rather than try to hit him with a star bomb and have it probably miss, I'm gonna get all this XP here. Is he just trying to open the chest repeatedly? He quit, he left the game. And, and he took his skill with him. He's like, muck you and the horse he rode in on. Ages, what the hell? A motorcycle, yeah, I'll take the motorcycle. Guild Wars looks so different. Oh, you didn't hear? Yeah, this is Guild Wars 3. I've been hearing about it all day. Is that guy gonna follow me? Or is he just gonna... All right, looks like he's just gonna secede this. Is, is that the right word? Secede? Like, give it up? Concede, concede. Secede's like when you leave the United States or something. Like, secede from the Union. Hmm, okay. Storm's coming in. There's three elites up here. I don't have a movement skill, which is kind of frustrating. I do have Bear Trap Star Bomb. So if I, if I get close to someone, that's gonna be what we attempt. Alright, that one's done. There's two elites in that building. The storm is coming in closer, though. Yeah. Earthbreaker. <laughs> if I want Earthbreaker. Oh, wait. If I go down the other hall, there's another one. Axe. You know what? Uh, I'll drop the star bomb and take the axe. I don't usually do axe gaming, but we'll see how it goes. I know it works really well for, uh, what's his name? Peekaboo. Beesh. Yes, there was a beesh. Uh, swap bear trap for snowdrift. Oh my god, chat, there's a fish. Forget the axe, chat, there's a fish. <gasps> fish! I don't have a movement skill to catch her. Dang it, I really need a movement skill. 
Use this barrel, grab this barrel. What is that purple? Rhyme arrow. Snow drift. Hmm. We're gonna drop the level one fish for the max level rhyme. This might be a poking match. Snowman, my bird. I just picked up and used like all the consumables here. This person gave up. Oh, look at all this stuff. I literally, every time one of them died, I picked up their consumable and used it and just used like all of their stuff back to back. Oh, did he take the quaking leap? I was about to make room for it. Wait, no. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, man. Indecision. Indecision. Let's do that. Let's try this out. Oh, Fae Form. Max Fae Form. Uh, I'll drop Snowdrift for Max Fae Form. No! Lol, there's other people there. I saw them, you didn't. Get blundered, idiot. Chickens. Actually, I think the invis would be better. Set it in the yeah, that's great, thank you. Targon. That's not good. Oh no! Everybody has repel! Score. 
I wasn't in fish range. Oh my gosh. Max Ring Slicing Wind. Oh! Someone else here. Ah, I was thinking about that Fade to Shadow that was over there. Luckily they missed. Four players remaining, by the way. It's a trap! Killed 17 players to that box. It was a trap. Snow drift, supply Get chains. Or die Ooh. You seem to be enjoying this? Yeah, it's fun. Like, if it, if I wasn't having fun, honestly, I would be like, yeah, I'm gonna be in the tournament. And then like, I would practice for like one day and I wouldn't practice outside of that. But I'm having fun. shooting you while you have that up. Juke successful. No repel! Everyone has repel! Oh, you walked into it. Level 10, by the way. Get back here. You think you're just gonna shoot that crap at me and walk away? Butt kill. You were the last one? Oh my god! Woo! We won the whole tournament. Yeah, no, I wish. Chad, I didn't even realize it was down to two of us. <laughs> I did not realize it was down to two of us. Is that two wins in a row? That might be two in a row. I forgot. Very, very short-term memory. <sighs> Man, hands are shaking a little bit. My wife was kind enough to bring me a sandwich. So. Mm. Does that mean Fairlight is dead white? No. Even if I jokingly said that, he could just take a he could just take a clip of me saying that he's dead white and then make a compilation of me dying before him. So I don't I don't want to I don't want to throw some gas on that fire. Like 2v2 is a whole different beast. Like if you've got two people and you're fighting against two others and they just both target you, you have so little time to react before you pop, you know? It's just, you're, you're taking double damage. And then, what if they're both ranged? Like, they're both doing Archons, they're both shooting Mana Orbs, they're both shooting Windstorms at you. And it's just like bullet hell. Um, it's very, like, 1v1 is so much more chill than 2v2. Mug, is this a gateway to get back in a while? We'll see. Just to show you, show you guys my legends. This is my character list, and wow. This guy, he's, it says he's 50 because they did a level squish. He used to be max level. 
This was the dude that tanked the server first Wrath of the Lich King, Lich King himself, and the server first heroic Tin Man Lich King. Uh, also, he participated in the server first um, ne <clears throat> Nefarian and Anixia fight in Cataclysm. This is uh, this is my most legendary character. I have some others that I've played over the time as a, mon as a monk, as a hunter. Or this guy's in like weird grades. Uh, there's this option here. If you accept this, it replaces all your gear with like new green stuff, so your character looks like a mess afterward. Always undead. Um, I got a few others. I got a few others, but uh, undead was my fave. Imagine if you lost 20 levels of two every time. Levels yeah, well, it, it, level squish. Okay, so Virtue of Sin, the purpose of a level, level squish is let's say everyone is level 150. And they're hitting each other for 100,000 damage per swing. The numbers are just ridiculous on the screen, right? And it's like, if you do 100,000 damage a hit and the guy has a million hit points, it takes you 10 hits to kill them. So they do a level squish. And so after the level squish, maybe the guy has a thousand health and you do a hundred damage a hit. It still takes you the same number of hits to kill that target, but the numbers are smaller because they were getting ridiculous before. And yeah, they've done them many times. All right. Hold on a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. What is this? Oh, it's a boost. Oh, okay. I don't know how I got that. What's the Muck decision about the Guild Wars 3 announcement? Why is everyone asking me this? My decision? Uh, I will allow it. In my grace of God and leader, Generalissimo and Emperor Chosen, I will allow them to make Guild Wars 3. On my honor. What, what, do you, what, 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 what do you want me to say? I allow it. Am I green? Yeah, I'm green lighting Guild Wars 3. It is past the gate. Yoink. I'm practicing yoinks. Yoink. Invisible. Yoink. Barrel. The triple yoink. We're looking at these birds. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. One in the cove. Alright. I'm gonna try the cheeky thing here. I'm going to start farming from midway into the cove going outward. And give them less stuff when they're leaving. It's a supply chest. I'm not going to bother with it. Oh, that one I will. That's a level three something ability. Slicing wind? I can work with that. So we have a movement skill now. Chain. All right, looking at the map. Upper right, Stromgard is still uncleared. There's a fight between two people in the quarry. There's a guy here with a motorcycle that's looking at me. Max out my slicing wind. 
All right, that guy has a fish, one of the strongest early game weapons. I really don't want to fight him. I see combat in the quarry over there. Uh, one of the elites in Stromgard just vanished. Okay. I put myself in a pretty rough spot here. He's not going to chase, but I already had to use my heal. He was level 5 right when I hit 4, so he had a bit of a level advantage there. Alright, the guy just finished there. Drop the rhyme for the manosphere. <sighs> really need XP. What's up? Manosphere. Okay. What's up? Manosphere. Okay. It's a sign. Chris Metzen himself is saying, Muck, shoot mana balls at people. Mana Sphere! Now, well, the main issue, uh, we, we gotta get, kill some stuff to level up. Here we go. Does higher rarity of only if I cool down? I think so. I think it's minus two seconds cooldown for each rarity. I don't know if it affects damage. I know your your level affects your damage. Hit. Oh, there's other people here. Gosh, we all chained each other. Did that kill him? Yeah, I think I got the kill, but the other guy's gonna get first crack of the loot.
Damn, he was so low too. No, go up the hill. Dang it, this guy's got a two-level advantage on me, and I've been doing very well against him. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh, I didn't do the pull. Dang, if I don't kill this guy, I'm, like, very behind from wasting so much time here. Ugh, I'm panicking. My hand was shaking a little bit there. Yes! Oh my gosh, that was so much time. So much time. And he had a two level advantage. Let's do that. Alright, we're close to 7. That would be really helpful. Even if the enemy is level 10, if I'm 7, I feel like I've got a chance. Wait. I thought I picked up a max level rhyme. Did I pick up a level 1 rhyme? Did I misread? I guess I did. Okay, so I'll have that back. Must have been like the overlapping tooltips confused me. You must embrace the fish. <laughs> fish. Level seven. That'll be helpful. I just heard someone go invisible. Level 9 chasing a level 7. Oh my god, that slice. It's an ink. I could easily hide up here until there's like one person standing. 
And then it's a matter of can I outplay that one guy, whoever that guy is. Because they will have level advantage over me. Probably. Five players remaining. Hey, he's on the other tower. I just saw, okay, just jump down. I saw him while I was drinking water. Can you leap across? I don't know. You know what, for science. Yes, you can. And now I know. For science! Oh my god! Woo! There's an axe in that house! Oh, not going into the bear traps. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to pull him into the other dude's bear traps. Done. down. Ah, I couldn't see him. He's invisible. Second place. Uh, we were even on level. He didn't have level advantage. Second place, though. Who gets credit for pulling to trap kill? The person who gets the credit for a kill is last hit. So, as an example of that, if I do 90% of a guy's health and damage and he's almost dead and someone else gets the last hit, they get credit. Or, if the storm does the last hit, no players get credit. Which doesn't really matter for like this, but for the tournament it will. Also, if you kill someone and they get revived and you kill them again, that's two kills. It counts every time. Ugh. Yeah, the pull does damage and the trap did damage, but I think I pulled him into the trap and then the other guy hit him in the trap and the other guy got the credit. Still though, it made it go from, I think at that point it was like three people to two or four people to three. And I learned that you can quaking leap from one rooftop to another. I never knew that before. I probably could have, uh, was it Quaking Leap from the tower to, like, the barracks and then just stayed on top of the barracks and then be unable to reach me if they didn't also have a leap until, like, until there was one other dude. Because I ended up fighting when there was three of us, so I took some damage from that. Can you only do this with a team or solo only? Uh, the Dementor, you can solo queue, and it's a 60-person free-for-all. And you can duo queue, and it's 30 teams of two. It's still 60 people. Will the map always end in that camp? No. It has a dynamic storm, so it will close on different areas. You do not know where the storm will end.
Okay, someone just went for the... Two people just landed at the Earth Golem. Alright, so I want nothing to do with that. Archon, my least favorite. Nice. Level two. Purple chest, give me something good. Give me something good. That's not good. I stole the fish! You about to get smacked by a mackerel. I should have aged his aid or repelled his repel. There's another person coming up behind him. Drinking. No! I wait for him to repel and then I repel it. The plan! The plan came together. Now no one, no one touch me for a minute. I need to recover. I repelled the repel. It's weird that there's a couple of skills in this game that counter themselves. Repel and uh, Earthbreaker. Because Earthbreaker, you're immune to CC while doing it. So if someone else Earthbreaks, and then you Earthbreaker in their Earthbreaker, you'll get hit and not interrupted, and then you will send them flying. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, does the game want me to do this again? Is it telling me to go slicing fish again? I think that's what it's saying. XP box. Nice, already six, quick six. I didn't hit it, dang it. Oh no, he's got the bird. Got him. Ooh, upgrade. Ooh, upgrade. Go away, bird. I killed your master. Leave me alone. Supply chest, I don't think I care. Repel! I don't even like this skill, but I'm using it right now. Oh no, he's got repel. Oh, it's so overpowered. Nerf repel. Ah, oh, this is gonna hit me. I can't do anything about it. Repel him to drink. Uh -oh. this one's getting out of hand. Got him with the slicing wind. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I wanted to use my barrel, grab the barrel, and go. And it all just mucked up. All right, Stromgard is already cleared. It was an intimidation. Yeah, it was a zoning barrel. It was a zoning barrel to keep him away. Whoa. 
Earthbreaker. Blue gun. Got it, did it again. There. Fish upgrade. Could beat on the pieces of hate. I don't know if it's worth it though. Do not know if it's worth. There's something up there. I can't see what it is. Level five. Does it feel so good, does it? <laughs> Alright, get rid of Repel, take Fade. Actually, hold on, what is the cooldown on max rank Repel? 16 seconds. Fade is 18, but it has mobility. Uh, let's see, there is an Elite over here. Are you practicing duos again tonight? Yes, tonight and tomorrow. We all, every time that our schedules line up, we're practicing. We want to try to win the $50,000. We are trying. And maybe we won't, but there will be no regrets. Should I just swap? Mmm, I don't know if I should swap. I could drop Fade to Shadow and pick up the chain. Buzzard, you're giving away my position, man. No, I'm gonna keep Fade. We're gonna do hit and run tactics. Level fish. He was trying to get me to die in the storm to get him, but I knew I had enough mobility to get him and get out. That's why I went for that. Something in that house. What is it? Fade to shadow level up. Okay. few mistakes there. Instead of trying to slicing wind through the mana bullets, I should have done fade to shadow through them and I wouldn't have taken damage. So I, that was a misplay that I need to learn from. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Uh, if you jump while healing, you interrupt your heal, so I couldn't like jump up the hill while doing that. Level 9? Nine. 9 players remaining.
Max kit, yep. Oh no! We are playing with fire right now. He has three things where he blocks damage. got interrupted. He's going to die to that other guy. I am going to back away and try to get my health back. The dude I got low is almost certainly dead if that other guy puts any amount of pressure on him. Uh, Mux, Soul Stone Survivor, big update. New character, new elements, tons of changes. I will have to try it out sometime. I enjoyed my time in Soul Stone Survivors. That was a good game. Excellent music, too. That was very memorable. Oh, that was unfortunate. Okay, now we switch to the higher health target. Now we go in Viz so they fight each other for a second. What? Yo! These traps are a very high quality. Oh, that slicing wind. Good bulwark. Fish kill. Oh god. The storm is howling. I don't I'm t I'm too close to all these people. I'm backing away to like take stock of the situation. 3 players remaining. So it's me and those two. Me and that guy. Oh my god, even though I was moving through him, I took so much damage there. Dude, the pathing. Fade to shadow wasn't working right. Slicing wind wasn't working right. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. Second place, though. Second place. But, like, my, my slicing wind and my fade to shadow were not working because of, like, the rocks and stuff. Hey, Michael Chad, I'm guessing the early news of possible Guild Wars 3 reached the Ah, uh, yes, people will not shut up about it. Yes, yeah, whoa, yeah, 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 Guild Wars 3. All right, next game. I am sorry to take out my anger upon you, EQ Roo. I'm getting one of those messages every minute. Add Guild Wars 3 to the filter? I've literally had a Guild Wars 3 command for like six months. 
Mock win Guild Wars 4. Oh my god. Guild Wars 4 is just going to be a mobile gacha game. Where you open up uh, booster packs and try to collect Logan. If you can get uh, Logan and also Queen Jenna's feet cards and play them at the same time, it's like playing Exodia. You just win. Don't see anyone else around me. We're starting axe. Kill. Slicing Wind Axe, man. Uh, I've basically got the peekaboo build now. If I had another movement skill instead of chains, I could try it. You know what, for the sake of getting out of my comfort zone, let's try it. I don't love this play style, but I'm going to see if I can pull it off. Did that guy still have a barrel that I killed? I don't see one. Gosh, level 3 Fey. Do I keep the chain? Chain into Axe or Fey? I'm gonna try 3 movement with Axe. Peekaboo does that and makes it look really good. Let's see what happens. Let's see how it looks. Man, I want that fish. I think we both want it, but we're both in combat. What? Oh my god, it poured at me the wrong mucking way. What was that? Holy crap, I did fade to shadow and it went fade and run for my life. Just went the opposite direction. It's supposed to port you forward and move me backward. <sighs> I got the max fish. Forget the axe, max fish. My wife upstairs just hearing me scream, what? With no explanation. I'm gonna challenge myself, forget the axe max fish. It's a max fish! You can't, it, like, if you see a max fish, you can't just not max fish. Like, it just kind of overwrites the other stuff.
Barrel swamp. Barrel swamp. Fight over there. Was uh, going to win versus the two, but then a third showed up. I haven't even been using all my movement skills. I've just been using one or two of them. Oh no. I got greedy. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I wanted the XP I worked so hard for. Those hit. Z axis, why? Oh, my God, dude, this stuff just going in weird directions. I might die here. That was, oh. oh my gosh. Trying to do builds that depend on moves that are unreliable. Bah. Imagine you can't play the game which you paid for as you to pay to play it. What? I had a friend who Omnicross had 14 tried Guild Wars 2 and the moment they clicked that button, they were in heaven. I think Plunder Storm has shown better than anything else in Wall's history, the janky Z-axis issues. Yes. <sighs> like, it's got issues that Blink had in, like, 2000. Well, well, watch this. Here to have some fun. Hmm? Depending on the length of this game, this might be the last one. You switched races? Uh, you can, yeah, you can make your character look however you want. At the beginning, I felt like I needed every edge I needed, so I was playing the smallest character possible just to see if it helped. Now I feel like I'm good enough, I can play whatever I want to look like. It's 
sneaky boos. Bushwhack! Three coming out soon. I do not think it's coming out soon. Maybe they started development, but that doesn't mean it's coming out soon. Have you actually been streaming daily for almost six years? Yes, I have not missed a day. No holidays, no weekends, no sick days. No sick days was the hard one. All right, hold on, what's that guy doing? All right, I know what he just hit. Trying to, I was gonna try to take that. I have three moves now. This guy has one, which is Archon. seconds. One elite just disappeared uh, south of me. That. the wind thing for that. I think he just quit. There we go. He was like, a lot of my moves weren't hitting him there. It was weird. He has a chain, but I have no follow-up for a chain, so I'm not going to go for it. She would like the chain. She's got an axe. She interrupted my heal. Checking storm, fine so far. That's odd. Someone went in this building. There's two elites in here. They only killed one of them. Caltrops, no thank you. 
The gold from elites is usually sizable piles, though. We want to pick those up. Combat in Western Strom. Get moving or die trying. Holy shields, but both that's not bad, but both my skills are rank three already. So I guess I'll keep what I've got right now. Got a weird sniper thing going on. Someone else is here. Snowman. level rhyme waiting for the traps to wear off so I can get the rest of the gold mm, feel weird about Archon I was considering getting the axe instead of Archon but I'll keep the Archon for now uh, there's a consumable over there I'll go for Twenty six players remaining. One way one thing going through my head is uh during the tournament, each round, I think the top twenty teams out of thirty teams, which is the top forty out of sixty people, get bonus points for surviving. Uh depending on how like what place they were. So anytime I'm above like there's there's less than forty players remaining, I feel like I've accomplished one of my goals. Level seven. You ain't better scoot and loot these scurvy dogs. Beesh. Is he fighting another player? Why do you just find all of that? Oh, Fade to Shadow didn't work. What a surprise. My heal just failed. I took so much damage in that fight because Fade to Shadow did not work. And now I might be dead. When I say it didn't work, by the way, I mean that it, like, made me go in Viz, but it didn't teleport me. So then I was still in the middle of all the stuff I was trying to teleport out of. It Get took a ton of damage. Fate will send you in the direction you're walking. Uh, unless you're hitting... What? You know, hold on. Let me test that. I actually did not know that. However, what happened in that fight is it moved me one foot. It didn't move me a large distance. It moved me, like, a pixel. It got, like, stuck on something. 
You did honestly teach me something, though. I didn't know that. Backing up because there's another player there. I saw him, but the other dude did not. players remaining. Level 7, almost level 8. If we could find a little bit more XP somewhere. drop the Archon and get Slicing Winds and hope it behaves this time. Nine players remaining. Straight into the storm, and then she turned left. Okay. Level three, holy shield. A little tempting. A little tempting. Let's see if there's anyone hiding on the tower. Hear a motorcycle. Are they still in the storm? Oh. The storm's moving over here. <laughs> right there, there's another one. New meta, old bitch. He sees him, he sees him. <laughs> Everyone's a bush. Guys, look at me, I'm so curvy. Oh my god. Alright, and there's someone over there. Dude, I need a bit of XP. I need a little bit of XP. He sees him! Get him! All 
All right, two fighting, two fighting. Push mark. Ah. Trying to get XP for level up. Did not get enough. The lightning has started. Two players remaining. Died from poison. Second place! Second place. Oh, man. Yeah, we were, we had just hit level eight and this guy was 10, so he had big advantage on that. Slicing fish, yeah. Honestly, I dropped the slice, the, the wrong skill dropped. So that's one of the biggest issues with this game mode is you frequently, like picking up loot is very cumbersome. It's, uh, it, it feels unreliable. But yeah, second place. And we were, th we were uh, three levels down for most of the finale. All right, cool. That was fun. Uh, wait, what was this? Uh, Aaron says, hello, sir. Hope you're doing well. Love all the YouTube content. Add a Gilbert's two question. Is there a way to get to the Heart of Thorns map without the story? Uh, teleport to a friend or going to a guild hall uh, if you're in a Heart of Thorns guild hall and then exiting the guild hall. You can do that. It looks like there's some other ideas in the chat too. Okay, awesome. Well, chat, with that, we are going to pause it here. And we will be back with our duo partner to practice more of this later tonight. Uh, yeah. All right. Awesome. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. All right. Couple plugs on the way out. And for anyone who doesn't know, my name is Mucklock. I stream every single evening and every weekday morning. I'll be back in about five hours with Fairlight, my duo partner for the 50K tournament. We're going to be practicing together tonight and tomorrow night and then the tournaments on Saturday if you wish to join us then. Uh, hit the follow button if you're here on Twitch. Like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. I have two YouTube channels. There's links to both of them if you want to see my other content. And lastly, a thank you to the patrons who keep this channel alive. It is with their support that we are able to do the show every day. And if you're interested in being, uh, you know, having your name on that list, you can uh, see that link in the chat there. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And anyone who is watching on the Twitch side, I'm going to try to raid someone here uh, just to show some support to another streamer. Give me just a second. Let me see. Who do I know that's online? Luxthos is live. I'll do. I'll give him a raid. All right. And I'll see you guys on the other side. It looks like he's playing Dragon's Dogma 2 right now, if any of you are interested in that. And once again, I'll be back in five hours if you want to see me uh, practice with my partner for the 50k tournament. See ya. Oh, no, it's the giant. Oh, dude, we're so dead. Yo! Oh, muck luck!